Halfway through June there was another Namak diecast event in the Netherlands. Uh, not that many visitors as usual. Possibly because the previous one in early May had not been that long, uh, less than a month and a half. Uh, but that previous one was kind of late on the calendar. Should have took place in uh, April. So yeah, uh, much more pleasant uh, to have less people there and also a little bit more stuff to find for me. So let's start with the first three. Um, I found all of them underneath a table. On top of the table was bigger scale stuff, but underneath the table I saw some uh, kind of uh, industrial vehicles and I was hoping on finding a few of those uh, Norev Volvo F89 uh, trucks or rigs. Uh, I did find them, but they were like six euro each and I didn't really want to spend that. But I uh, looked through all of those boxes and I found some uh, interesting stuff like uh, this one, which is a uh, Grisval made in Spain, Volvo uh, container truck. Oh, it's got, got these uh, kind of waste containers that you, you can lift with the crane and uh, put down. So one for uh, glass and one for paper, but this one has the, uh, the little uh, hook broken off, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, first time I, uh, I have this casting. Uh, so what you see is blue is metal and it's got a plastic base. And these are also plastic, obviously, together with the bed. And no interior in there, all blacked out windows. Um, asking price was three euro, but I was able to make a deal. So ended up paying two euro and 45 cents for it. The other one I found was this uh, majorette um, made in France, one to 100 scale. Uh, this is a uh, Renault, a Renault truck, a garbage truck. Uh, first time I have this style of garbage truck from uh, majorette. Uh, but this is a custom. I did not realize that at the time when I bought it. Uh, but it, when I did some research when I got home, uh, I found out that this is a custom. So the um, the cabin and the chassis are uh, metal. This kind of uh, orangey yellow. And the plastic box with this thing that lifts up is plastic, but it's painted. And that's why it kind of looks uh, metallic. It looks really good. Um, BFI is an American uh, trash company, uh, it stands for Browning Ferris Industries and they had a, um, a Dutch division for a while. That's probably why this uh, person uh, made this into a, a custom uh, uh, garbage truck. And then the best find of the three is this little gem. So uh, the, originally there was a sticker on there that seems to say 10 euro. Then there was a 5 euro taped over it. I ended up paying uh, 4 euro and 9 cents for it. Uh, by the way, the previous one, the Majorette, was also 3 euro asking price and 2, 40, 2 euro and 45 cents that I paid for it. So this is a uh, Japanese Grip Zichin. Uh, never seen before. It's in 1 to 70 scale. Uh, you've got a nice picture there and I think there's another one underneath, yeah. So let's uh, take it out and have a gander. It's got uh, some padded foam on the back to protect it. How nice is that? That's so very Japanese to do something like that. So let's see. Ada Corporation, made in Japan, and this is a Mitsubishi Fuso. So as we could see on the picture on the box, the cabin tilts, we got an all metal engine, part of the completely metal chassis. The cabin in white is also a metal, obviously. Chrome piece for the grill and the headlights, chrome rims. And then a plastic back part that also tilts, and not that far by the way, just uh, that much. Also has an extra opening part here, 
to throw in some uh, trash by hand and then uh, this to dump it at the, uh, the incinerator I guess yeah very cool finds got the Japanese text down there uh, no idea how old this is but uh, yeah, I was very pleased with, uh, with this uh, plastic tires by the way in case you're wondering very cool then from a German seller, I managed to get this one. So this is uh, a uh, Opel dealership packaging uh, done by Norev. It's an uh, Opel combo, so kind of a small van by Opel. Um, you can see not much info on there. Seller was asking eight euro. I asked him in German if he would accept five and he said yes. As I've mentioned many times before, if you can speak the uh, language of the vendor, uh, that always helps in uh, getting the price down. First time I have this casting, uh, this is only the second Opel uh, by Norev. Uh, the first one I got was the Vivaro. Also in red, slightly bigger van. Um, I got that for under five euro. Um, so 2003 combo, Opel, it says there on top. Metal on metal suspension. Steelies in gray, well, silver-ish, I should say. Uh, not chrome as they often are, but nice silver. It's more realistic looking. Cladding on the side, door handle in the flat black. A uh, flat black painted side bumper here, part of the metal body. Mirrors cast into the body. A um, also metal front bumper, painted flat black, lensed headlights. Opal logo painted in silver. Got the sliding door here with the rail and stuff all detailed and the handlebar. Plastic rear doors also with some paint on there. So very nicely detailed. It actually has a back seat. So I imagine there was a window version of this too. Never seen it though. Still got a lot of luggage space in there. And the uh, trailer hitch again. As I mentioned before, uses because they did not have uh, any trailers. Yeah, very pleased to uh, to have found this. The next two I got from the same seller. This is uh, an interesting one. Um, don't pay much attention to what it says here on the back. That's just uh, some info on the Dutch company that has imported these. Uh, this was two and a half euro. Got it for two. Uh, this is a, a Loyal Bright Porsche in a uh, Cone Oil livery. Got a BMW Z8 from the same uh, Cone Oil kind of uh, merchandising. So made in china reference six so they just numbered their vehicles so this is the porsche 996 nice authentic looking rims plastic tires lens headlights unfortunately no silver paint behind the lenses so kind of looks odd with the red behind it uh, plastic behind these openings part of the base or the interior Plastic spoiler. Yeah, no tabos besides the, uh, the merchandising logo there. Majorette used these casting for a while uh, after the uh, 2011 flood, by the way. So I'll add uh, that one to that collection. And then the second one, same price, same discount. Uh, a Suku, Siku KTM Xbo GT. So KTM is a, uh, a motorcycle manufacturer that uh, ventured into uh, car manufacturing. I don't know if they still do. 
but uh, at the time this was an interesting vehicle comes with a flyer sometimes you can uh, date it by uh, the date that is on the flyer but i don't think there's going to be a date on this one no there isn't should be on the top somewhere got some stats on the vehicle on the plastic base made in china so rubber tires generic rims the um I'm wondering if these blue parts are, yeah, they are plastic. These blue parts are plastic, but then the flat black uh, here is a uh, metal. It's got a driver in there. It's the uh, orange cousin of the Stig. Got uh, the KTM name on there. Some silver for these lights in the front. And then some tail lights and exhaust detail. Funky vehicle, but uh, yeah, it's a cool looking one, so I'm glad to have it. Good deal. Next one is a FC van in the Dutch Red Cross uh, ambulance livery. Uh, got a nice discount too. There's a few fewer people attending Dynamic, you can get uh, better deals for sure. Because they don't want to go home with all that stuff again. The offenders, I mean. FC, made in Holland, scale 1 to 68, although well, that will probably not be very accurate. Huge trailer hitch on there. Got a blue window piece, also makes for the blue cherry on top. This one, this van, always has had the uh, sliding door, uh, which is uh, for an ambulance opening rear doors would be better, but you know, uh, they use the same casting for everything. So it's not much uh, to see in there. Just make basically a different uh, tempo print. Metal on metal. I got another one of these Hot Wheels P1800 gassers for one euro. So I uh, I never leave those behind if I can find them for cheap. It's the only Hot Wheels in this video. Here's another cheapo. Majorette Color Changers Monster Rockers. The uh, Volkswagen Beetle version. Usually these sell for they start at like six euro go upwards to 10 euro i got it for only three so that's definitely a steal uh, how old is this 2021 okay a few years old already so cold it turns green and then hot it uh, turns kind of light green so dark green to light green and then these are the other vehicles in the set the f-150 raptor and the wrangler so Glad to add another uh, of these Beetle Monster Trucks to the collection. So at normal price, I would never uh, spend that kind of money. A little bit of uh, yeah, paint residue. So these are uh, soft rubber tires. Um, the um, okay, these do not flex at all. The regular Monster trucks do uh monster rockers uh, oh yeah they do sorry they have suspension like that i kind of forgot it's been a while since i bought uh, some of these see that's the uh, suspension system uh, but they tend to rub against the body if you completely tilt them um, opening part is the frunk on this beetle if it wants to open I'll need to use something from the uh, Swiss Army knife to try and pry that open. Yeah, there you go. So all metal underneath. And uh, yeah, Majorette, Majorette is definitely not cheap on the uh, on the on the Zamac. 
I sometimes hear people uh, complain, well, Majorette, it's not like it used to be. They were all metal, but there's still a lot of metal on them. They still have suspension for the most part. The most of them, they still have lens headlights. Uh, there's still a lot, uh, a lot of desirable stuff on these nowadays. So we've got the uh, Volkswagen logo on the front there with the, the chrome strip. Side deco, 456. Little add on part there. Tail lights are done. Yeah, glad to have it. Then I bought a bunch of uh, Tomica. Um, this uh, seller was there too uh, on the previous uh, event, but by the time I got to his table, uh, everything interesting was gone. This time, because there were not that many people, I was able to find some stuff and I need to remember myself next time I go and hopefully he has some Tommy car again. I go there first and I put it on my list of preferred vendors that I visit first at the beginning of the uh, of the event so that I can have a much bigger choice of, uh, of stuff. So we start with this Honda Step Wagon from 2013. So these were six euro each, uh, but if you bought four, you could have them for 20 euros. So that's five euro each. So I bought uh, eight in total. Well, let's take a look. So he's got older stuff and newer stuff. Um, I've never seen really old stuff, but again, uh, that uh, could all have been gone by the time I got there. This one was already opened, but there's some that are still on the, in the, in the plastic wrapper. Um, I don't know what, uh, why some are opened up and some uh, are still in the wrapper. Doesn't matter. They're all in the. They're all new. So here you go. Suspension, metal flake. Uh, hard to describe this. Uh, this color. Kind of an off-white, metal flake off-white. Lensed uh, headlights, also the grill is part of the lensed piece, but it's painted silver with some black. Nice to see a uh, lens light on a basic Tomica. So as often, um, they got a metal rear window here that's painted black. Uh, they do that to hide the hinges of the rear door. Painted, uh, where the rear is completely painted up, nicely done. Uh, let's open it up. You can see those huge hinges, and it also cuts into the rear seat, the third row of seats. But uh, very heavy because uh, they have an all metal body, uh, not something. Uh, any of the metal brands would do. Staying with the uh, minivans, new for 2016, this uh, Nissan Serena, 2016 release, right there. This one, I still need to cut, cut open. So of course, same price, five euro. That's a fair price for a basic Tomica. Flyer. Mm. Some Toyota GT86. And then this is the one we got here. Some uh, other Toyotas. Hilux and FJ Cruiser, Wrangler, and Nissan. If you uh, Sports cars, play sets, yeah, cool stuff. Again, 
suspension lens headlights. It's got some uh, printing on there. So apparently there's a body colored line between the two lights. Uh, nicely tempoed in the front there. All to two tone again. Metal window painted black to hide the hinges. Nicely detailed in the rear again. Little sporter is easy, makes it easier to lift up the uh, the old metal hatch. By the way, the, uh, so this window is also painted on. Third rows of seats again cut out for the uh, hinges. Then. Also new for 2016, the Mazda Atenza Owner Driver Taxi. Here in Europe, this is called the Mazda 6. Uh, 2016, obviously, because it was new for 2016. And this is a little bit more of a rough looking box. So, of course, a nice addition to the taxi collection. I hope I don't already have it in the taxi collection, but I don't think so. It was not on my list at least. Taxi sign, separate piece on top. It's kind of strange looking. Yeah, that looks odd. Uh, some Japanese on there, taxi. Painted headlights, nicely done grill. And the detail in the rear is okay, but not as good as on the uh, minivans, I think. Opening doors, basic looking interior, but good enough. Some black for the pillars. Sweet. Here we got the Toyota Coaster Kindergarten Bus. For the school bus collection 2022 so the rest of them will all be 2022 releases I'm going to run out of space on the table here one eighty nine scale no suspension. Some silver, some black around the windows. School sign. Seems like the base clips into the body here in the front. Headlights are done. Sun visor is painted black. And tail lights in the rear with the, uh, the school sign. Awesome. I got another bus, the London bus, 2022. As I said, no need really to show that, as I already mentioned it. So red plastic base, originally from 1977, look at that, that's an oldie. Uh, this one does have suspension. Pet World since 1985. This is the rear of the bus. No, this is the front of the bus. <laughs> uh, and this is the rear, or is it? No, sorry, this is the front. Here's the steering wheel. Jeez, it's so hard to see. Yeah, there's the steering wheel, kind of a cylinder barrel shape thingy. And this is the rear, okay. Plastic, bottom side. But still a lot of metal on there. Toyota High Medic, still in the wrapper. So like half of them were still still in the wrapper, and the other half already opened up.
white plastic base on this one. Suspension, ooh, a lot of sp suspension travel. A red line across the side. Chrome piece in the front there. Base clips into the front bumper. Red uh, lights in the front. Lensed lights on top. Just the tail lights and the stripe on the rear. No badging or anything. And then we have a proper ambulance interior. There's a seat there and a two bench for two people. Yeah, and then a little uh, cabinet here for uh, kinds of stuff that you might need. There's something in the front here too. It's kind of hard to see what it is. Cool. And I'll always pick up a Subaru by Tomica if I can find one for an affordable price. Subaru Forester Fire Command Vehicle. All right, let's leave the other, the rest of the plastic wrapper on there for now. I'll take it off afterwards. This one got the blacked out rims, so no chrome on there. Japanese for fire department, maybe. I don't know, seems kind of short. Nice light bar, that is a separate piece. You know I'm a sucker for that. Some black trim around the uh, wheel arch. The uh, And also on the bottom here, is that part of the... Hey, that's interesting. So that's part of the base, but it's also painted. You see, that's the kind of detail I like in these Tommy cars. They could have just left it black plastic, but it's, or maybe it's just not painted. It's just kind of a, a smooth plastic on the side, like it's on the bumpers, where it's textured on the base. Interesting. Uh, nicely detailed in the front, with all the uh, yeah stuff on there. It's got the Kind of a sherry star where the Subaru logo would be. Unfortunately, that's part of uh, the bumper that is plastic, so they're also kind of skimping on the metal. And uh, I don't think there's an opening part on this, no. So a lot less value for money on these. They feel lighter too. Mm, just a Subaru logo on the rear, but no badging for the model or anything. Yeah. But at least we get a separate piece for the light bar and still get the suspension that's something but you can see they're also uh you know getting more cheap another subaru the wrx s4 unmarked police car i thought i already had one of these but maybe an older version but could not find it and wasn't on my list either so I guess uh, I knew it existed, but I never got it. Who knows? This one's got these sporty rims on there. A cherry on top. Nicely detailed in the front. All the details you would want are there. It's got the hood or bonnet that opens up. Again, I need the help of the, the thingy. Where is it? Oh, geez. It's amidst the uh, Tomica boxes. There you go. So uh, all metal in there too, just like Majorette. Some details. Some black around the windows and in the rear the logo and the taillights i don't see any badging for the model or anything 
sweet. Then I encountered a, uh, a very nice young lady from Poland uh, that spoke uh, pretty well Dutch. Um, I said to her, I only know one Polish word, which is not true. I know a few, but most of them are not very nice to uh, pronounce in front of a girl. So the only word I said I know is Nazdrovia, something like that. And she laughed and uh, she said it was pretty good. Um, it's something you say when you're amongst friends or family and you say cheers, Nazdrovia. That's what it means. She had all uh, Matchbox stuff on the table, uh, singles uh, laid out and also in uh, two boxes with a sign, a, a cardboard sign that had uh, written two euro on there and a few uh, Matchbox five packs of which one uh, is a 2022 uh, five pack that I'm still missing. One of the three I'm still missing. This is the MBX electric drivers one. Only five euro, it's a steal. So we got the 2018 Nissan Leaf, the 2009 International E-Star. Then we got the uh, 2010 Honda Insight, 2015 BMW i3, and then the uh, NYC New York City Taxi Toyota Prius. So now I only need to find uh, two more from 2022, the uh, MBX Rally 2 and the MBX City Drivers. Those are the ones that I'm still missing from 2022 and then I can finally do that five pack video. Let's have a little sip. So what else did I get from her? A bunch of singles. Uh, I got a discount because I bought so many, ended up paying one and a half euro for each. This is called the Alpine Ambulance, but on the base it says Arctic Track Truck. And this is the first release of this casting from 2001. It's a Matchbox original, but I kind of like it. It's got uh, two moving parts. These uh, tracks actually move. Uh, I like that uh, nowadays. You have to buy, pay uh, five euro or more in store to have a matchbox moving parts vehicle, at least here in Europe. Um, metal, it's kind of a weighty piece because all what you see is blue is metal and then this uh, uh, ambulance part on the back is plastic, but uh, the metal goes all the way to the back. You can see here underneath. So uh, yeah, nice amount of metal on there. And then I found this one, the uh, tractor cab. First time I find this on a single card. I found a bunch of these uh, in the convoys range with the, uh, you know, the uh, articulated tractor trailer combo. Um, but uh, there was only a few that were released on, uh, on the singles. And this is uh, the uh, first one from 2005. Uh, lots of chrome on there. All the convoys ones I have do not have chrome but have just gray. So that's also a nice uh, touch. Uh, all metal body. Got red window piece. Not a fan of that. Worldwide delivery tempo. Tractor cab on the door. Smokestacks in the rear. Cool. Uh, let's continue with the ones I'm going to open up. Jeep Hurricane Concept. Kind of dig this uh, army livery. This is from 2006. Proper steering wheel on this. Jeep embossed in the rear. 
this is a very good casting. I mean, vehicle might not be that exciting, and you know, it's a concept, so maybe not that interesting, but uh, I think they did a great job on the casting. Talking about a Whopper, the Armand International 4700, back when it had a metal body. This is 2007 release. So I don't collect the plastic body ones anymore, but every time I find a metal body one, I will try to scoop it up if it's affordable. Chrome base makes for the chrome step in the back and bumper and front bumper also. International Armored Transport, INAT, some uh, orange lights on the side there and white also down there and some red-ish in the front. So. Lots of detail and a lot of bang for your buck, weighty piece. And then we got this uh, automatic, automatic, sorry, a wrecker truck, um, 2005 tow truck, or is it 2003 tow truck? It says on the base, can't read it with all the glare. Uh, this is also the first release, 2005, so glad to have a first release of this casting. Uh, so I will uh, open this up when I do a video on all the, uh, the record trucks I have. City bus. Also the first release, 2005, metal body, plastic base. Later on retooled to have a plastic body with a metal base. Uh, it's kind of a metal flake, white, or is it? No, it's not, sorry. Just a gloss white metro shuttle on the side. I have a few school buses, just called School Bus, 2005 release. Got the Matchbox and the logo there on the grill. That's kind of cool. It's gener generic or Matchbox original. Looks good there. And this a long card from uh, 1999. Matchbox USA, so a USA exclusive. Always nice to get one of those. Here's some fire trucks called Fire Flutter on the card, but it's actually the International Pumper. First release from 1999, rest of world version with the blue V light bar. The uh, United States got the red V light bar. You can see V-shaped light bar. Uh, all metal casting, even the fire hoses are painted uh, white, but are all metal, white painted roof, side deco. Uh, I like these cabinets here, got the uh, uh, axe in there and the fire extinguisher, and then some uh, head protection gear in that locker. Very cool, and you got the chrome also. Uh, yeah, again, a lot of bang for your buck. Stars of Cars, Dennis Saber. I already have this, but I will not leave this behind. This is, you know, too special and exclusive. 2006 release. Feuerwehr, so German fire department. Dennis in Boston, the front blue window piece for the blue lights on top. The ladder that moves, metal body. Chrome plastic base, sweet. I'm getting into the picture here. Another international pumper, still all metal body with the V-shaped light bar, red one in this case. Uh, 2009 release. Again, the cabinets separately painted, but no image on there of what is in there. And the Pierce Dash 
fire engine. Two separate pieces of metal in the rear and the front. And the um, plastic top part. And then the uh, chrome base with the center engine piece, part of the base. A very special construction, this casting. Fire rescue, it says there on the side. Cool. Staying with Matchbox, a different vendor had this sole Matchbox convoy on his table. 15 euro asked for it. I offered him 10. He thought about it for a few seconds and he said, okay, you can have it for 10. Ford Aeromax and a Firestone racing livery. Here's a few of the other ones on the back. Um, this is very interesting. I think that is the Duff. This is the Mercedes Actros. I have this uh, tractor, but not the trailer. Date on there, copyright the date is 2007, so possibly 2008 release. So let's take a look at the rig first. 197 scale, it says on there. 1991 copyright, Ford Aeromax. Gloss white. No tampos on there. Smokestacks in the rear. And then the uh, trailer, it has a metal base. Asada's rig. So designed by Ryu Asada, obviously, when he worked at Matchbox. So plastic uh, container part and also these side skirts are plastic. Opening rear doors, I don't know if I will manage to open these. But I know they're a bit of a pain in the butt. Yeah, I'm not going to force it. Just going to leave them closed. I like the rounded edge in the front because it's kind of a modern style. And just hooks in there like that. I'll put it on the back there for now. Staying with Matchbox, I got this Lesney Land Rover fire truck which is in a really bad condition with the window piece caved in, but I just bought it for one reason, and that is the ladder on top. Very unusual to still find it with the ladder on it. I have a nicer version without, so um, I just bought this to take the ladder off. Um, this was one euro, I paid for it. Totally worth it for that ladder. I always pick up these junk pieces if they still have uh, something uh, like that still on there that usually is missing. I got this Lesney also, Land Rover Safari. So I mentioned this guy, he has these uh, trays uh, with Lesney cars in them that are not mint, but near mint. Uh, last time I bought a, uh, a green station wagon from him. This time I went through it and I found this one, uh, which is in great nick. And uh, usually when you find these, they are missing the paint, they are missing the top part. And there's all kinds of stuff wrong with them. So for five euro to find a, a really good example with uh, the uh, luggage still on there. Yeah, I was not going to leave that behind. Uh, let's see from what year this is. Uh, I've been uh, not giving you a lot of info on that. Uh, 1967 till 1969, this was available. So 55 to 57 years old. This one, a uh, little bit older, 66 till 69. 
also got this one from a German seller who I buy from almost every time I go to a Namak. Toyota MR2 by MC Toy. So Mei Chung Toy, which later became Maisto. Suspension, interior, proper steering wheel, uh, all metal body. This was two euro. MR2 on the uh, tempo down the hood or bonnet. Very cool, period correct styling on there. Uh, and nicely detailed casting. Lens tail lights for a change. Of course, could not do the headlights because they're down like that, or they should have done them like Matchbox did, but kind of okay with this uh, with this style. Sunroof. Awesome find. Then the next uh, seller is the same one I bought the um, camping stuff from last time. Uh, this time he had uh, totally different stuff with him, all kinds of um, vehicle transport devices, if you can call it that. Here's a uh, Corgi Juniors, let's see, a Land Rover of course, but uh, I will show you. There you go, Land Rover. Uh, it was four euro, but uh, he gave me a sweet deal. So I ended up paying, uh, how much did I pay? Uh, Two euro and 86 cents. Um, a lot of those records he had in hindsight uh, were pro probably uh, customs. Uh, this one's kind of customized because there should be a metal hook in here, but that's gone. So he put some kind of plastic one in there that's possibly a matchbox hook. Uh, but I got it because it was in great nick, or it is in great nick. F few, uh, uh, a little bit of paint loss on the corners, but it's a German exclusive. Uh, uh, German fire department from uh, Bremerhaven. So it says Feuerwehr Bremerhaven on the, the, on the bonnet. With the, this kind of a shield on there. thought that was cool. I don't know if it ever was originally silver painted headlights uh, that might have been uh, also customized but you know i never seen it with that sample before so that's why I picked it up and he also had a bunch of two-story car transporters so the first one here is a majorette Mercedes in 1 to 100 scale made in France Uh, did not have an example of this type of transporter. So what you see is red is metal and then the yellow is plastic. Uh, he was asking five for it, ended up paying a little over three and a half euro. So at the end of the video, we will put some, uh, some cars on there. If you're interested to see me do that. Uh, he also had this uh, Siku in kind of the same color scheme, a little bit bigger. It doesn't say a scale on there. I, uh, I'm guessing it's like 187 scale, but I could not find any info on it. Again, what you see is red is metal and what you see is yellow is plastic. So very similar to the Majorette. A little bit more tempo details on this uh, Mercedes uh, Actros. In the front there and white painted rims. His neighbor, well, he had a bigger Majorette transporter like the one I'm pulling up now. But his neighbor, the table next to him, had a nicer one. So I uh, ended up picking up this one. Uh, this is my second one. Um, the other one I have is uh, blue with yellow. This one's red with orange. Uh, basically all metal. It's a Saviem, French. Uh, truck, part of the uh, Renault family. So let's see, it says on the base, 1 to 60 scale, made in France. Yeah, and a lot of metal. Everywhere you look, this yellow piece is plastic. So, uh, 
let's separate these from one another put the little kickstand up so it stays like that it's complete still has the mirrors uh, the chrome has a little bit faded you know i mean it's not uh, it's not mint it's not new the, the upper deck has been rubbing on the roof and stuff like that majo transport it says on the stickers on the door so those are still there it's got the tilt cabin so metal engine underneath and then we got the sticker on the rear also french license plate french sticker country sticker 60 kilometers per hour and then this one i will uh, demonstrate how it works when i put the cars on uh, at the end of the video if you're interested then this seller did not have much on his table a bunch of loose cars and then this was sitting there didn't pick it up at first but then at the end of the event went back there tried to get him down to uh, uh, five euro from seven and a half but he wouldn't budge uh, i got it anyway so this is a uh, Dickey Spielzeug. So that's the same Dickey from uh, Simba Dickey Group that owns Majorette uh, nowadays uh, and some other brands like Jada. Diecast Truck Stop Car Trailer. Some generic cars in there. Uh, and it's a gen generic truck also. I have this in a later newer packaging in blue, but I did not have this red version. Let's see what else uh, we see on there. A whole bunch of languages clearly sold all over Europe. Maybe you can see your language in there. Here it's again depicted. You can also see what it does. It uh, The trailer detaches. Uh, the upper deck slides out to the deck behind it. These all slide out too. So a lot of functionality on, uh, on this. Uh, Let's see, this side still taped up and this side too. So yeah, never been opened by the look of it. So I will keep the box and put it in there. But put it back in there. I am... Um, I reorganized my collection during my holiday for the past few weeks and um, I put all the uh, transporters together and I have now three 50 liter tubs filled with two-story uh, car transporters yeah that's a lot okay let's let let's leave this one in here uh, well, I'm going to leave them all in there. Just uh, put them to the side. We'll put them on again later on. Spare wheel underneath there. Uh, what you see is the red is metal, so it's got a nice weight to it. Uh, it's an okay looking truck. It's got side mirrors, got the uh, sun visor that's a separate plastic piece. Uh, then everything here uh, in the back is all plastic so uh, there's nothing that slides out here here's this trailer hitch uh, we got the uh, air intake here and then the exhaust is here but it's not uh, doesn't have an exhaust sticking out anywhere not that bad for a for generic and uh, here's the production date february 2006 This is all plastic, made in China. Um, so here we got these things that slide out like that. This also does, and this also does. So it kind of functions as a, a ramp to drive on there, and this, this lowers just by putting it down. Oh yeah, there you go, all the way down. And this attaches just like that. 
if I can make it fit because there's a little bit of excess paint on the uh, on the hitch it seems so I'm not sure if I will be able to get that on there no it won't okay I'm going to force it there's too much paint on there and then the last one which is a whopper two I was totally surprised to find this so I have been after this type of uh, or this not this particularly live particular livery but this uh, Corgi super hauler haulers two-story transporter for a long time uh, years ago I found one on the German Amazon for sale um, they were asking 21 euro for it I didn't want to pay that because I didn't know how big it was if it was all plastic or not I just had no idea and this is the first time ever seeing one and now that I hold it in my hands I can barely lift it up and I realize how big it is and that it's all metal I probably would have paid the 21 euro back then but you know kind of glad I didn't because I got this for only 10 euro 1999 copyright on there it is made in China Renault car transporter Beamish transport here's some other uh, tractor trail combinations uh, rigs lorries in the, the lineup um, when preparing for this video I looked at what cars I could put on there and uh, it seems that this is kind of large it doesn't say scale on, on the on the box um, I would say it's 1 to 60 to 155 scale it's rather rather large uh, but it's a very nice one nonetheless so it's kind of close to the the big Siku ones again I'm going to keep the packaging whoops stop falling down I'm going to keep the packaging and put it back in there um, I'm going to show you guys are these tied down in any way no it's just a plastic that keeps them in there so I'm not sure how to get that out of there if I just pull okay that's it just pull okay there you go just as corgi on the base this has rubber tires chrome painted rims uh, come on telephone number on there beamish transport so this must be a real existing livery i guess car and caravan transportation a renault badge in the middle there a beamish billy the lights are done base clips into the front bumper it's a nice color too this kind of uh um green is a bit dusty as you can see and, and it'll need a clean um kind of goes from dark green in front to light green in rear i like the the styling on that so this uh, only goes down this far and then goes up like that interesting and then we get the uh, trailer yeah all very heavy duty all metal so this lifts up like that and then you push it to the front and it stays on there very simple but very effective uh, way of uh, doing it you know construction there's no clip in the back here just this just stays up doesn't fall down nice uh, design a lesser nice design I think is these ramps here I think it's going to be hard for the cars to get on there but uh, let's uh, see how uh, how they do so those of you who are still here okay so this is how it attaches this just a 
that underneath there. I don't even know how to describe it, but it, I guess it works, right? It does the trick. Okay, so this lowers to that, but that's really not that handy. Oh yeah, now see, this lowers to that because this also lowers to that. So that's how it works. Okay, so let's start with one Corgi because we're going to put all Corgi cars on there, of course, that I forgot in the previous video and that was pointed out to me by uh, the Quirky Garage 1999, Aurel, Quirkypedia. It had dawned on me uh, a few days later, eventually, that uh, I uh, did not put it on the other Corgi transporter that I had in the previous video. Uh, but this works uh, really well, I have to say. That is uh, sweet. It even stays there. I don't know how many cars we're going to be able to fit on there, but we're just going to put uh, keep putting it on there. Here we got the... This was not from this uh, haul, of course. The, the cars I'm going to show you from now on are just cars I already had in the collection, just for uh, uh, demonstration purposes on, uh, on these haulers, what you can put on there, uh, how many cars and stuff like that. So we can lift this one. Like that, oops. Then, how about this uh, 300 SL Gullwing that was featured in the Gullwing Cars video, I think, or did I acquire it later on? I'm not sure anymore. I forget. Okay, so if that goes up, it can't be underneath there because it's going to hit. Um, then we get to some later years where the uh, corgi cars got a little bit more chunky and uh, often were made in china this uh, jaguar xj40 it's a nice one but uh, it's uh, yeah it's chunky uh, i think size wise it fits much better with this trailer than the other vehicles do so let's lift this up and slide forward Yep, there you go. Uh, it will not stay on there, uh, unfortunately. So I'll have to put it on there uh, like that for now. Yeah, there's no real blocks to uh, keep the cars in, in place. That's something that's missing on this one. Uh, then we get to uh, this one, which is actually uh, a Hot Wheels but originally a corgi casting so that's why i uh, i decided to grab this one let's see if it fits fits underneath yeah this one wants to leave okay so this works with these big ramps because it's it's an off-roader see that does work it does get stuck underneath here though see that's unfortunate so i thought it was rather big but apparently not big enough for these big castings so maybe it's not that, maybe it's not 155 scale. And it's just like 1 to 60. So unfortunately that's not going to work. Um, let's, uh, let's put the jag on here. Will it make the ramps? Yeah, it does make the ramps. Okay, so for these bigger scale cars, they're not too big. These ramps, they, they go over it, it still can move, so that's good. And this one will fit here because the back side is a little bit higher you can squeeze one more behind later on after these they got a lot smaller as you can see corgi toys defender that's just really really tiny if you compare it to uh to the other one uh, maybe i i show you like this you see yeah that's a big difference huh um, so maybe i can fit that one on here yeah that'll work later on and this one also one of the later ones corgi toys this uh, land rover discovery the police livery so let's put that one on here if it fits Let's close this uh, door like that. 
I put this one on there. Oh well, it was. See, it doesn't want to stay closed because it doesn't have the uh, the clip in the back that clips the ramp to the top level. But there you go, two, four, six, seven cars you can fit on there. That's not bad. Let's put this to the side, and then some cars are already getting out. Yeah, that's unfortunate that there's no clip to hold back the uh, the rear ramp. Uh, let's put these on quickly. Uh, well, quickly. Um, where are the uh, the cars? Where did I put them? Oh, they're right next to me. These generic cars. Uh, when I do the um, the uh, the separate video on all my um, car transporters, two-story car transporters, I will do them by a diecast brand. So we'll have the Dickie diecast ones. I have the Majorette ones. I have the Seco ones. I have the Corgi ones. It will all be separate videos. I will put uh, proper cars on there again, uh, and also will put uh, licensed Dickie cars on there instead of these. Uh, uh, pieces of junk c4 made in china yeah that's what you need to uh, apply on these c4 uh, they have some tempos but they're just i mean they look a bit like a mercedes or uh or i don't know what but not quite uh, so let's see drive it on here then the extended ramp functions as a bridge to that side and then all the way to the front uh, let's put this back in, slide this back in, and uh, put another one on the back there. The colors are nice. They're all the same, by the way. The colors are nice, but that's the only nice thing I can say about these. Okay, lift that up, and that should stay up there like that. This goes in two. There you go. And then on the bottom, you can have the uh, the black one. They're also a bit dirty. So you got the ramp extended so these can fit on there. Continuing all the way to the front. There you go. And then the silver one from the middle section. Can just sit in here. So there's definitely some room for some more cars if you put some smaller cars on there, but all in all, uh, you know, a smart would fit on there on the here on the back. Uh, you can kind of extend, keep these extended because if you turn, it's not going to be in the way. So you can kind of keep uh, this stuff extended somehow. And here too, so you can fit, you know, one here and then one more on the back. So that might technically work if you wanted to. So I'll slide that one back next to the Corgi one. Let's get to Majorette. Now I thought because this is a Saviem, which was a uh, part of the Renault Group at one time I would put all I made red Renault cars on there so lift up the um, top deck to lower the metal ramp and just push down because it's got these little uh, pistons that uh, allow it to lower uh, let's see here we got a uh, Renault 11 11, a uh, R5 Turbo, which uh, even fits between these uh, metal things, so uh, wide enough for their cars, that's cool. Even this uh, fat ass uh, R5 Turbo can uh, make it on there, that's good, that's cool, and of course I should show you a Renault Clio, a little bit more modern, uh, not uh, period correct to this uh, car transporter. Uh, 
thanks to this, it stays up. Um, where is my other Renault? Here, Renault twenty five. And another one in different color. There you go. And lifting it up all the way to the top, locking it in with the ramp. And there you go. The uh, Renault Transport on its way. Then we got these uh, smaller ones. This one's kind of, these are kind of hard to um, have find cars to fit on. Um, I found this one. This is a uh, Herpa Juniors Mercedes-Benz E-Class in 166 scale. Metal on metal. Um, it's the only one I have, I think. And uh, this fits on here perfectly. But I found some Seiko cars that... Uh, that will fit on there. Let's first uh, lower this. I uh, have to uh, kind of pull this ramp over the, uh, the little these little notches. It's kind of hard to lower it. It's basically plastic hinging on metal. It's kind of doesn't. They don't like each other, the plastic and the uh, and the metal. I found some. Uh, basically, what I discovered is that the cars that fit on here are basically the old V numbered uh, castings. So here's one, they're all in bad shape. I apologize for that, but I don't have any uh, nicer ones. Porsche 911 V numbered is uh, the older ones made in West Germany. Well, later on they were also made in West Germany, but uh, they had the V in front of the number. Uh, these were smaller scaled and uh, well, this one has to be on top, so I'll take another one for the bottom. I think this one will fit on the bottom. Sorry, that's a majorette. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Jaguar E-Type 2 plus 2 V294. It's looking rough, I know, but it's complete. I think this will fit underneath. No, it doesn't, because it uh, it's not wide enough, these... This metal post, sorry, plastic post, is not wide enough to accommodate a vehicle, but I can just slide it in between. So height-wise and width-wise, it fits, except between the uh, the thing to uh, to lower or uh, raise the um, yeah, and then you can't fit uh, the ones on the top. I look like a fucking, uh, sorry for my swearing, I look like a um, amateur here, as if I've never done this before. Okay, Porsche on there, this uh, Citroën DS21, uh, kind of slides on the, uh, on the side of the top deck, doesn't really roll on there. Uh, Porsche is narrow enough, even got some space left, but the uh, Citroën DS is too wide. And then we can put this one underneath. Get the unwilling plastic deck up again, and there you go. Uh, not period correct, these are older than the actual um, car transporter, but they're the only Seco ones that will fit, because the later Seco ones, even the ones uh, from West Germany and then later Germany uh, that had the West Germany on the base, I mean, uh, before uh, unified Germany, uh, they gotten a lot bigger, the castings, so they will definitely not fit on there. So castings that would have been available at this time when this transporter was new would not have fit on there. And then we finish with the majorette. Uh, yeah, you already saw one of them that I was planning on putting on there to the uh, 350 SL 
old style mage red. Um, these were also a little bit more smaller and tinier than the, the ones they ha had later on. Uh, like the ones, the Renault ones, they're all too big. It uh, doesn't fit in between here, but it does fit on the on the deck. And then this one, well, I don't think any of these fit underneath because it's just too small, one to one hundred scale. It's too small, but uh, uh, it does have these little stops, so uh, it does stay on there. But of course, scale-wise, it's totally off. Uh, but they fit in between the, you know, there's still some space left. Uh, they do fit, but uh, of course, it's not uh, not to scale at all. So I'll put them all on the table here. I'll try to make them all fit in the shot. I don't know how uh, I'm going to do that, but we'll see. Let's see, it's a nice. Uh, A nice screen filled with car transporters. Whoopsie. Yeah, that Corgi one definitely uh, is, uh, is doing its own thing. Uh, typically British, of course. Even though it's made in China. Let's try to get these on there just for the end shot for once. Thanks for watching.